If you're a fan of the CRBN paddles, you're not going to want to miss this comparison between the new Power Series and the old version. First, let's talk about the, the fact that they have the 14 millimeter version and the 16 millimeter version. They're both the same when it comes to what I'm going to talk about, so I don't need to have all of them up here for display. So let's talk about the differences between the old model and the new model. And then I'm going to get into the feel of these for the different shots and talk about the things that you care about when you're wanting to play pickleball. First off, let's talk about the differences. So this guy here is an upgrade in most ways, if not always. So first off, they're using the Torre carbon fiber which is the top carbon fiber out of Japan. There's only about five paddle manufacturers using this right now, and there's gonna be a lot more. It's more expensive material, but this is the Cadillac of carbon fiber, so it has the new carbon fiber face on it. The second thing they did was inject foam around the walls of this paddle, because that will help with the support of the sweet spot, make the sweet spot a little bit bigger, and also help with the vibration, a little bit of the dampening for the vibration, because this is a very stiff paddle. Because of the construction, what they do is they do a thermal, um, a thermal vacuum seal, where basically it will seal inside, all the way around here in the polymer core, inside of this with the carbon material as well. So then they inject foam outside of that to help with the sweet spot and the vibration. The next thing they did was do a reinforced unibody construction. So what they do is they extend the face of the paddle down past the break points and then the other stuff up past the break points so there's no weak spot in the handle. So it's a unibody design. So it gives you more uh, strength here and these paddles are near impossible to break. You can see Chris Olsen try to break one on his knee. He did not do it at all. So this is very, very much a more stiff paddle with a little bit less flex and it will not break. The last thing they did to make this different is the fortified handle. So not only is the handle formed differently, it's a little bit smaller with a little bit more pronounced bevels. So you can see the picture right here where the paddle handles the, the old versions a little bit more blocky, a little bit less beveled. The new version's a little bit smaller, a little bit more beveled. You can actually feel the bevels a little bit better in your hand, a little bit less blocky. But what they've also done is they've extended the carbon fiber all the way down the edge of the handle, which then strengthens it, fortifies it, and dampens it a little bit for a little bit less shock when you're hitting the ball. So that's the major differences of the construction of this paddle. They're all coming in around eight ounces, so their the weight difference isn't any different. Let's talk about the differences with the shots that we hit. First, let's talk about the differences of the feel of these paddles. So this paddle here, the new Power Series, is a lot more crisp feeling. When I say crisp, meaning the paddle, the ball bounces off the paddle quicker. It's a stiffer paddle. So the ball does not stay on the paddle uh, as long as the old version. So therefore you're gonna have a little bit smaller sweet spot on this guy, a marginally smaller sweet spot, but the feel is completely different. The old version feels very muted. When I say muted is, it's kind of a thud. It's a very, uh, some people call it dead feeling. Some people call it very controlled feeling. Uh, where you hit the ball, where you're not necessarily going to know if you hit it up in the upper left corner, you're not going to know it's exactly in the upper left corner, you're going to just know it's on the left side of the paddle on the upper side. Whereas this one, if I hit in the upper left corner, I'm going to know I hit in the very upper left corner because the feedback on this paddle is so much more pronounced. So some people like the dead feeling, they like the muted feeling, and they like the sound of the original one. This one here is one of the largest sweet spots that I've ever hit. The Carbon 1 and the Carbon 2 of the old version, phenomenal control paddles. These guys have no power. These are not a power paddle. If you need the paddle to give you power, you do not want this paddle. You want this version. And the, and the sweet spot is not so small that it's, it's just marginal, marginally smaller because of a stiffer paddle and the, the, the face and the construction of the paddle. When we're talking about spin, this guy has more spin. It is one of the top spinning paddles on the market. It has the Torre carbon fiber, which is the top carbon fiber. This guy has more spin than the old version. So that's the, the, one of the clear differentiators. Not only does this one have more power, this one has more spin. Let's talk about the third shot drops, the resets. Anything defensively, you're gonna do better with this version because this is a defensive-minded paddle. It's got a ginormous sweet spot. You can control it really, really well, and it feels like you can just put the ball wherever you want. This one here is gonna have a little bit of a learning curve on the 
resets, on the, the dinks, on the uh, third shot drops, because it's a little bit more powerful with a little bit more spin, you're going to have a little bit of a learning curve on this if you're used to playing this type of paddle. If you're used to playing a power paddle or a fast paddle, this paddle is going to feel awesome to you because it's going to feel like it has more control and enough power to get the job done. Obviously drives, we're going to go to this power series. The drives and anything that involves power, that's why they have power in the name. This paddle has some pop to it, but not so much that you're sacrificing control. It is still a very controllable power paddle. And I would say it's probably on the lower end of the power paddles that are out there, like the, the, Van, the Power Airs or the, in, the Onyx, any of the harder hitting paddles, this is not going to be a power paddle. This is a control paddle with more power, if that makes sense to you. It's, it's a control paddle with more power that gives you a lot of spin. So right now, depending on when I'm playing or who I'm playing against, if I'm playing against somebody that is a banger, somebody that hits really hard and I'm going to have to do a lot of resets and I'm going to have to play a lot of defense, this is going to be my paddle of choice because I like the muted feeling. I like the ability to know that when I hit it anywhere on the paddle face, it's going to go where I'm intending it to go with a little bit loss of power because of the big sweet spot. If I'm going to play a more offensive game or I'm working on my offense and I need to get a little bit more aggressive, I want to hit with more spin, this would be my paddle of choice. This paddle, these paddles are really for anyone that plays pickleball. There's no specific person that would play these paddles, but it's all about preference. It's all about the way and it's all about the style that you play in and the way you want to perform on the court. Hey guys, if you like all this content, please click like and subscribe. Now remember, they come in the 14 millimeter and the 16 millimeter. The 14 millimeter is just a little bit more pop on both sides of these. They both have 14 millimeters. The 14 millimeters have a little bit smaller sweet spots, a little bit more power than these guys, and it's a good tweener between the 13 and the 16. Some people don't like the lack of power, the lack of power on the 16s, even with the Power Series. It's still a 16 millimeter paddle, and the 14 millimeter paddles offer a little bit more power with the same references and more spin. So you can get a little bit more spin on the 14 millimeter than the 16 millimeter, but that's the differences there. Well, if this isn't the paddle for you, why don't you check these out? Yeah, you can click it anytime you want. I got to stand here. I really do. I got to stand here until you click something. Hmm.